好，各位老师啊，同学，大家上午好啊！欢迎大家参加我们今天的这个事务委讲座。我们这个事系列讲座呢，是由中科大，是以这个中科大首任物理系的系主任啊，事务委先生的名字来命名。那是由这个合肥啊微尺度物质科学国家研究中心，还有中科院强耦合量子材料物理重点实验室。呃，国际呃功能量子材料呃量子设计中心 （ICQD） 还有我们科大的物理系还有科研部呃共同主办那个低温物理学报来承办的一个系列讲座。呃、今天我们非常呃有幸请到了呃这个 Penn State 的呃常翠祖老师来带来今天的这个报告。呃，常老师呢是一三年呃博士毕业于这个清华大学啊、呃，之后在 MIT 做了几年啊、呃、博士后，然、呃、后于呃一七年啊、呃、加入这个 Penn State 开始做 faculty。呃，常老师呢，呃，这些年一直从事这个量子反常霍尔效应啊、呃、方面的研究啊、呃，他是当年这个徐吉坤老师啊、呃、量子反常霍尔效应 science 工作的这个第一作者。呃，之后呢，也有很多非常亮丽的工作，也因此呢，呃，这些开创性的工作得到了很多这个国际上的奖项。呃，那今天他为大家带来的也是这个量子反常霍尔效应方面的一个报告。那我们就呃欢迎常老师。啊，常老师有请。谢谢那个那个呃朱老师的这个介绍，那个呃。我我我我今天还去用那个英语给这个 talk， 因为汉语好好久都不给 talk 了。这个，呃呃，这个如果你们有什么问题的话，可以用汉语直接问我都可以。这个这个，呃 ，my my let's start the my talk. So, uh, my name is Cui Zhu Chang from Penn State. So happy to give a talk at USTC. Uh, I have never been in USTC, but hopefully I could uh, visit USTC when the travel is lift off soon. So the title of my talk is the uh, is uh, is quantum anomaly effect in the magnetic topological insulator multi layers. Uh, so let's start with the uh, dispersion phenomena in kinetic matter physics. You know, according to the Jenhua's the uh the, the the suggestion i try to make my talk as simple as possible so we know that the uh there are two phenomena in kinetic matter physics showing the zero resistance and uh, the first one is the well-known superconductivity uh, it was first discovered by the hacker on us in the 1911 uh, and the second dispersion phenomena uh, is the quantum hall effect uh, it was first discovered by Wang Cleansing uh, in 1980s. Uh, in quantum hole effect, the bulk is an uh, uh, insulator, and the dispersion current uh, flow through the edge of the sample like this. And the quantum uh, hole effect uh, can only be realized in high mobility, uh, two-dimensional electron gas uh, under a high magnetic field. So today I will talk about a unique uh, quantum hole effect. Uh, under zero magnetic field, we name it uh, uh, quantum anomaly hole effect. You know, in the last several slides of my talk, uh, I will discuss the Marana physics uh, by combining these two phenomena, superconductivity uh, and uh, uh, quantum anomaly hole uh, insulators. So first, I want to acknowledge uh, my postal, uh, my students and my collaborators uh, I really uh, appreciate their help and support. Uh, and the research in my group is supported by this uh, uh, federal agency and some private uh, foundations. Uh, and here is the outline of my talk. I will first give a very brief introduction uh, about quantum anomaly hole effect and uh, uh, topological insulator. Uh, I will show you why and how uh, we use the topological insulator. Uh, to realize the quantum anomaly hole effect. Uh, as the Professor Chu just introduced, you know, with many efforts in 2013, uh, we were the first uh, to realize the quantum anomaly hole effect uh, in chromium-doped topological insulator film uh, when I was a graduate student 
uh, in Professor Qi Quinxue's group at Tsinghua University. And after four years postdoc at MIT, uh, I joined Penn State in 2017 uh, and continued the work uh, on the quantum anomalous Hall effects. And we uh, we fabricated this kind of the magnetic TI summary structure and first realized one phenomenon we call it uh, action insulator state. And later we fabricated this kind of the magnetic TI and TI multilayers uh, and first realized the uh, high chain number quantum anomalous Hall effect. And based on this kind of the uh, quantum anomalous Hall insulators, uh, we fabricate this kind of the uh, quantum anomalous hole and the superconductor hybrid device. Uh, and we found that the observation of the half quantized, uh, quantized plateau in two terminal environment is unlikely induced uh, by the formation of the Carol uh, Moranas. And uh, finally, I will give a very brief summary. And uh, let's the, let, let me introduce the whole effect. You know, the whole effect is the, is a very famous, this kind of the phenomenon in solid state physics. You know, when the current uh, flows through a conducting material, uh, which is in a perpendicular magnetic field and the charge carrier, uh, will be pushed towards uh, the side of the sample uh, by the Lorentz force and a transverse voltage. Uh, we usually call it a whole voltage. Uh, will develop across this sample. And this effect is called the Hall effect. And the Hall effect was first discovered by Adam Hall. Actually, at that time, uh, he was a graduate student uh, in John Hopkins University. And this is the Adam Hall's original data uh, on a good leaf. And the Hall effect, uh, we know that is still being uh, widely used to identify the carrier type and the carrier density and the carrier mobility of the sample. And uh, uh, for this kind of the whole effect, we will ask uh, what will happen for the whole effect if we further increase the uh, magnetic field. You know, most of the electrons uh, may be pushed towards the side of the two sides and make the bulk uh, become insulating. So this is the, you know, the, this is actually a just effect. You know, the quantum Hall effect was first, uh, as I just introduced, was first uh, realized in 1980s uh, by Juan Klinsen, uh, a German uh, physicist. And in quantum Hall effect at high magnetic field, we can see that the Hall effect is quantized and uh, simultaneously the longitudinal resistance becomes zero. You know, as I just uh, said, you know, the quantum Hall effect is usually observed in two dimensional uh, electron gas system uh, under a very high uh, magnetic field. So uh, the quantum the quantum anomalous Hall effect is actually just the zero magnetic field uh, manifestation of the quantum Hall effect. You know, this is just uh, the so-called the Hall family. You know, there are three basic members. You know, we are familiar with these three basic members, uh, Hall effect, anomalous Hall effect, and the spin Hall effect. And their quantized version, we call it quantum Hall effect, quantum anomalous Hall effect, and quantum spin Hall effect. Quantum spin Hall effect is just the, the two-dimensional topological insulator. So today in my talk, I will focus on this kind of the uh, quantum anomalous Hall effect. You know, in quantum anomalous Hall effect, at a zero magnetic field, the whole resistance is quantized. And at the same time, the longitudinal resistance is, is zero. And when the magnetization is up, the chiral edge the edge state goes this way. When the magnetization is down, the edge state goes the opposite way. So the chirality of this kind of the edge state uh, depends on the magnetization direction of the sample. You know, this kind of the edge state we usually call it spin polarized uh, ballistic uh, chiral edge state. So uh, before moving on, let me see a few words uh, about the chiral eddy state in quantum anomalous hole insulators. Uh, you know that uh, in a conventional, uh, in a toy model, this is a toy model uh, for the conventional uh, conducting materials. There are four degrees of freedom, uh, spin up, spin down, right mirror, and left mirror. You know, impurities in this kind of the uh, conventional uh, conducting materials can backscatter the right mirror 
to left moor and to left moor to right moor and, uh, and give rise to the electrical resistance. But we know that in the quantum anomaly insulators, uh, there is only one degree of freedom, uh, means the spin polarized Carroll eddy state. This eddy state, as I just told you, is we call it a uh, Carroll eddy state. You know, the, the electrons in this kind of the conventional conductors uh, looks like the car and the bus is uh, a traffic jam. And the electrons in this kind of the uh, quantum anomaly hole insulators uh, looks like this kind of the traffic uh, on the highway. You know, the eddy state, uh, the Carroll eddy state in quantum anomaly hole insulators uh, actually give us a good platform uh, for the next generation, the energy efficient uh, electronic and spintronic device uh, with the low power consumption and uh, also can be used in the topological uh, quantum uh, computings. And uh, I like the quantum hole effect. You know, we know that for quantum hole effect, uh, which starts from the experiments, you know, the experimentalist uh, first discovered the quantum hole and later the theorist try to understand it. But for quantum anomaly hole effect uh, was first uh, predicted by Duncan Haldane uh, in the 1988. You know the uh, that that is just the just because of this prediction, uh, Haldane received the Nobel Physics Prize uh, in 2016, uh, five years ago. You know the Haldane's model uh, was based on a one layer of carbon. You know one layer of carbon today we usually call it graphene uh, in a periodic uh, magnetic field, but without a uh, net flux. You know, Hodan took this kind of the nearest neighbor hopping and the second nearest neighbor hopping uh, in his calculation. And when the, this kind of the second nearest neighbor hopping T2 is zero, you know, uh, there will be two Dirac coin uh, formed at the two corners of the first blend dome. This is just the uh, graphene, you know, the, we know in graphene, there are two Dirac coins uh, located at the key points of the uh, of the uh, blend zones. And when the phase phi of this kind of the second nearest neighbor hoping is included in the calculation, the time reversal symmetry of this kind of the material will be broken and a gap will open at the dial point. You know, this gap we usually call it a uh, magnetic exchange gap. You know, according to the Hordan's theory, if we could tune the chemical potential uh, into this small gap, we could realize the, in principle, we could realize the uh, quantum anomaly score effect. But we know that in reality, due to the weak spin orbit coupling, uh, we could not realize the quantum anomaly score effect uh, in graphene system uh, based on this kind of the uh, magnetic doping. And uh, on the other hand, the quantum anomaly score effect can also be considered as the quantized version of the anomaly score effect. We know that the uh, anomalous Hall effect is just the uh, Hall effect in the ferromagnetic materials. And the anomalous Hall effect in the ferromagnetic material uh, can be intrinsic or extrinsic. You know, intrinsic means induced by the band structure. And in extrinsic just means the just because of impurity or defects in the sample. And the intrinsic property of the anomalous Hall effect was first recognized by these two guys and Kamplers and Lattingers uh, in, in 1954. And uh, you know, when the Barry language, Barry language was established in the 1980s, uh, the whole conductance uh, actually can be directly calculated. The whole, the whole conductance of the intrinsic anomalous whole effect can be calculated by this kind of the integral of the Barry curvature in the first blend zone. We know that the integral of the Barry curvature in the first blend zone uh, equals to two pi times C. C is an integer number. You know, we later, we usually call it uh, chain numbers. So from these two equations, actually we could get a very simple equations and just uh, the sigma xy whole conductance equals e squared over h times c. c is the chain numbers. You know, from this very simple equation, we can get the two conditions uh, for the quantum anomalous whole effect. You know, if the sigma xy can be quantized, c must be non-zero. c non-zero means the material with the inverted band structure. Uh, today, we usually call it uh, uh, topological material. You know, the first condition is the material with the inverted band structure 
is we also can say the material should be topological. And the second is the material must have this kind of the uh, enormous hole hysteresis. So this is should be a ferromagnetic material. So if we want to uh, realize the uh, quantum enormous hole effect, we need to find the material with these two conditions. And the chain number C here is usually determines the number of the eddy state in the Carroll eddy state in quantum enormous hole insulators. Uh, and later, uh, we will talk more about this kind of the chain, uh, chain numbers. And uh, in 2006, the discovery of the topological insulator made the search for the quantum enormous hole become possible. So let me introduce uh, what a topological insulator is. You know, this is a, uh, this is a band insulator. This is a conduction band and this is valence band. When the strong spin orbit coupling is introduced into a band insulator and the conduction band and the valence band will become inverted. Uh, and a uh, linear dispersion, this kind of the surface state, we usually call it the Dirac surface state, is formed between the conduction band and the valence band. You know, this material, we usually call it topological insulator. You know, obviously, the topological insulator satisfies the first condition uh, for this kind of the, uh, for the realization of the quantum enormous hole effect, as I just introduced. And uh, before moving on, let me see a few words about this kind of the topological insulators. You know, the topological insulator can be clarified into 2D topological insulator and a 3D topological insulator. And both of them has been realized in, re uh, in real materials. And 2D topological insulator was first realized in mercury territe quantum wells and later in this kind of the indium arsenide and gallium antimony quantum wells and more recently in the uh, 1T primer tungsten territe monolayers. And for the 3D topological insulator was first realized in this kind of the bismuth antimony compound and later in this kind of the bismuth selenide family materials and the band structure in bismuth selenide is more simple and in this kind of the, and in my experiment, we mainly focus on this kind of the bismuth selenide family and topological uh, insulators. So now let me show you how we could, you, you know, that's, I just introduced why we choose the topological insulator for the realization of the quantum anomalous hole effect. And next I will show you how we could use the topological insulator to realize quantum anomalous hole effect. You know, this is topological insulator as I just introduced. This is the Dirac surface state, uh, which is protected by the time reversal symmetry. You know, when the ferromagnetic order is introduced uh, in this kind of the topological insulator and a gap will open at the Dirac point. You know, this gap, we, as I just showed you in Holden's model, this gap is, we usually call it a magnetic exchange gap. It's not the bar gap. Bar gap is this, is the bigger one. And this gap can be considered as a, a gap within the bulk gap. And uh, from the theoretical prediction, you know, if we could tune the chemical potential into this magnetic exchange gap, you know, we could realize the quantum anomalous hole effect. So this is uh, just a theoretical theoretical picture of uh, how we use the topological insulator to realize the quantum anomalous hole effect. So uh, as an experimentalist, you know, uh, we need to convert the theoretical picture uh, into the experimental step, you know, step by step to realize quantum anomalous hole effect. You know, first uh, we need, there are three steps. And first we need the high quality thin film or topological insulator. You know, our approach is MB growth. You know, I'm an MB grower. And the second, the, we need the ferromagnetic order is introduced into the thin film, thin film or TI. So we realize this by magnetic doping. It just using the same method used in the uh, diluted magnetic semiconductor. So the, 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 the third step is we need to tune the chemical potential into this magnetic exchange gap. We use, we use two methods. One is the, just a chemical doping. And the second is just the gating effect. We know that the gate can also tune the uh, chemical potential. So next, I will briefly show you uh, how we, uh, we reach this kind of the quantum anomalous hole from TI step by step uh, when I was in 
uh, in Tsinghua University. So first, we use the MBE to grow the thin film or 3D topological insulator. Uh, by carefully controlling the growth parameter, uh, we were able to achieve a layer by layer growth of the bismuth selenide uh, thin films. And this is can be seen from the upper uh, band map of one quintuple layer to six quintuple layer. And we can see very clear quantum wells in conduction band and well, and also uh, wireless band. And this indicates uh, our film uh, are pretty uniform. And we can also see there is a gap opening when the film thickness is less than six quintuple layer. You know, this gap opening is just because of the top and bottom surface state, just like this top and bottom surface state, uh, hybridization and forms this kind of the gap. We usually call it a uh, hybridization gap when the film is thin. And the second step, as I just show you, we need the ferromagnetic order. You know, we, uh, you know, there are three basic members uh, in the bismuth selenide topological uh, insulators, uh, bismuth selenide, bismuth terride, and antimony terride. You know, we, we have tried we have tried very hard to dope the chromium uh, into these three basic member. And we can see that, you know, this is 10 quintuple layer, the same doping level. And we can see in chromium doped bismuth selenide, there is just a nonlinear behavior. There is no ferromagnetic hysteresis. Uh, that means this sample is paramagnetic. So, uh, you know, the chromium doped bismuth selenide is not a good candidate for this kind of the realization of the quantum anomalous Hall effect. So we need to forget it. So, but for the chromium doped bismuth terride and chromium doped animal terride, at the low temperature, there is a ferromagnetic hysteresis. And compared to the chromium doped bismuth terride, and this one is more square. So that's the reason we choose the chromium doped animal terride uh, as the parent material for the realization of the quantum anomalous or uh, effect. And the good news actually here is we can see that this one at high magnetic field, this, uh, this slope is positive and this slope is negative. You know, means the, the carrier here is N-doped and the carrier here is, uh, the carrier here is P-doped, carrier here is N-doped. So, uh, from the very straightforward point of view, we make them together and it forms the four element, uh, this kind of the, uh, chromium doped bismuth antimony terrain. You know, that's also the reason why we choose the, uh, chromium doped bismuth antimony terride uh, in our experiment for the realization of the quantum anomalous Hall effect. So uh, next, uh, let me show you the transport result. You know, of this kind of the five quintuple layer chromium doped bismuth antimony terride. Uh, we systematically change the bismuth doping level. As I just show you, this one N type, this one P type. Uh, at some bismuth antimony ratio, we may realize the insulating state and we may realize the quantum anomalous Hall effect. So here, let's say this kind of the uh, transport result, we can see this is zero means the pure chromium doped antimony terride. And we systematically increase the X here, X 0.5 to X 0 uh, 0.15 to X 0.5. And we can see that the, uh, the bismuth doping uh, change this kind of the ferromagnetic uh, from the P type, you know, this is positive to negative means the carrier from P type to N type. But the ferromagnetic pro property still keeps, you know, the always keeps in this kind of the, when you tune this kind of the carrier type and the carrier uh, densities in all these sample. And there is a good news here is we can see that the enormous hole resistance has a maximum when the sample between the 0 0.2 and 0 0.25. This is from P type to N type means the, when the crossover between this kind of the P type to N type, you know, the whole resistance is actually increased. But here we can see the whole resistance is still three kilo ohm. It's still far from the quantized value. We know the quantized value is uh, 25.8 kilo ohm. And next we optimize this kind of the cruise condition. And with many efforts in 2013, we were the first to observe the quantum anomalous Hall state uh, in the chromium doped bismuth antimony terride. And uh, you know the you know the story. Uh, and here are these kind of the magnetic field dependence of the Hall resistance. The blue one is Hall resistance, and the red one is longitudinal resistance. Uh, we can see that at the charge neutral point. Uh, at zero magnetic field, 
the whole resistance is quantized and the longitudinal resistance is very close to zero. So if we plot the zero magnetic field whole resistance, uh, this is whole resistance and longitudinal resistance uh, as a function of the gate, you know, we systematically tune the, uh, the chemical potential. We can see that at the charge neutral point here is minus 1.5 volts and uh, the whole resistance uh, exhibits a distinct plateau uh, with the quantized value h over e square. And simultaneously, the longitudinal resistance shows a sharp dip here. You know, this kind of the phenomena uh, marks the uh, discovery of the quantum anomalous hole effect uh, in this kind of the chromium doped bismuth antimony uh, telluride films. You know, after I received my PhD uh, from Tsinghua in 2013, I moved to uh, MIT for my postal. And at MIT, we realized the second quantum anomalous hole uh, system in this kind of the vanadium doped bismuth antimony telluride. You know, the uh, the, the, the recipe and the method are quite similar as the one we used in the uh, chromium doped bismuth antimony telluride uh, system. But the reason we didn't try in my, uh, you know, when I was at Tsinghua is just because, you know, there is some theoretical prediction said that the uh, quantum anomalous hole effect uh, is unexpected in this kind of the vanadium doped uh, bismuth antimony telluride film, uh, just uh, due to there is some impurity band we are formed in this kind of the near the magnetic exchange gap. And uh, this impurity band will affect the insulating state. But you know that at low temperature, maybe just because of the localization effect, we still uh, see this kind of the very high precision and uh, quantum anomalous hole effect in the vanadium doped system. We can see at zero magnetic field, the whole resistance is quantized and the longitudinal resistance is very close to zero. It's just less than three ohm here. And by performing this kind of the local and the non-local, uh, two terminal, three terminal, and four terminal measurement, uh, we clearly demonstrated the chiral ID transport uh, in the quantum anomalous hole insulators. So in 2017, I joined the Penn State and the first project uh, we tackled uh, is the realization uh, of the axon insulator state uh, in this kind of the magnetic TI sandwich uh, hydrostructures. Uh, you know, axon is a definition from particle physics, you know, just like most of the definitions in kinetic matter physics. Uh, for example, the Marana female like this, uh, most of them are from the particle physics. Uh, and for the axon insulator, for the axon, uh, this definition is first uh, hypothesis by the Frank Wilczek you know, Frank Wilczek uh, is the uh, Lober Norwich, uh, and uh, and uh, for the action in the particle physics uh, is as yet unobserved in particle physics. And to realize this kind of the action insulator state in the topological materials, uh, we realized that uh, we needed to satisfy these three requirements. You know, the, the first is the TI, the topological insulator, uh, should be in the 3D regime, you know, the, just like the actual insulator is a 3D definition. And uh, all the surface should be gapped just like this. And top surface and the side surface and also bottom surface just looks like a ball. You know, all the surface gapped, but the bulk maintains the time reversal symmetry. And the bulk is still keeps the topological property. So, you know, if one material satisfy this kind of the three conditions, uh, we can call it uh, topological, uh, we can call it actual insulator state. So as I just uh, introduced, the quantum anomalous hole effect has been realized in the chromium and vanadium doped TI system. And these two systems uh, have different uh, HC. Actually, this gives us the opportunity to fabricate this kind of the actual insulator state. So we fabricate this kind of the sandwich hydrostructure. You know, the top and bottom layer is the uh, chromium and vanadium doped TI, and the middle layer is undoped TI. You know, when the very high magnetic field, it will point the same direction and parallel alignment of this kind of the magnetization. You know, this is just a quantum anomalous hole state. You know, at some magnetic field, at some specific magnetic field regime, you know, the, the magnetization may be anti-parallel aligned. You know, this is the top surface contributes E square over 2H 
uh, whole conductance, and the bottom surface contributes uh, minus h over e two e square uh, uh, e square over two h uh, whole conductance. You know they will cancel each other and forms this kind of the actual insulator state. You know, uh, you know this is the this is the sample we fabricated in uh, my lab, and we using three quintuple layer, three quintuple layer, and in the middle we using the four to six. Uh, in 2018, but now we uh, we can use in the uh, thinker than the in the middle we can use in the hundred uh, nanometer uh, undoped TI. You know, it is definitely in the 3D regime, and we still could realize the perfect uh, action insulator state. And from the TM, we could see the very highly ordered this kind of the uh, magnetic TI sandwich structure here. And uh, let's take a look of the transport result. As I just show you, you know, just because of the 2HC uh, in the chromium and the vanadium doped TL layer, we may realize this kind of interstate. You know, HC1 is just the uh, curiosity field of the vanadium doped TM, and HC2 is the curiosity field of the chromium doped TM at a very high magnetic field. You know, they will align to the same direction. You know, this is just the quantum anomalous hole. The whole uh, conductance is one e square over one e, uh, one e square over h. You know, when you sweep the magnetic field, the chromium doped TL layer because the HC two is smaller. You know, the the chromium doped TL will first flip and forms this kind of the anti-parallel alignment. As I just told you, the whole conductance on the top and bottom layer because they share the the opposite this kind of the signs. They will cancel each other and forms the zero hole conductance. And when you further increase the uh, sweep the magnetic field, you know they will point down. Also, this kind of the parallel alignment will go to the quantum anomalous hole again. So this kind of the state satisfies all the conditions uh, as I just listed the three conditions I listed for the actual insulator. You know this is we call it actual insulator state. You know the realization of the actual insulator. Uh, provides a good platform uh, for the detection of the topological magnetoelectrical effect. You know, we know the magnetoelectrical effect. You know, that's the very standard behavior in solid state physics. And uh, the why we call it topological here, we usually call it TME effect. Uh, the TME effect has two signatures. Uh, one is the induced, this E, and the applied B are always parallel each other. Uh, at the same time, the coefficient between them is quantized. So for this kind of the detection of the TME effect uh, is still undergoing uh, in my group. And uh, in addition, you know, the in addition to the quantum anomalous hole effect in the chromium and vanadium doped TI system, and the zero magnetic field quantum anomalous hole effect uh, has been also founded in the exfoliate this kind of the magnets bismuth telluride flick with all the number layers. You know, this uh, work uh, from Fudan University uh, in, in Rambo Zhang's group. Uh, and, uh, and, uh, the, and the other two system is the twist barrier graphene. And more recently, also the quantum anomalous hole is also observed in AB stacked, the moly pyrite and tungsten selenide uh, barrier structures. And the mechanism in these two systems is a little bit different uh, from this kind of the uh, magnetically doped and also intrinsic uh, magnetic TI system. But in this five system, we can see that all the chain number, all the whole resistance quantized at uh, h over e square means the chain number is one. You know, the, uh, although we know that in quantum anomalous hole uh, insulator, we, uh, as I just told you, the Carroll edge state is this pencilless. But if we put some normal contact, you know, normal metal contact, there is still contact resistance. This contact resistance is h over c square. So if we want to reduce the contact resistance, we must increase. Uh, one approach is the to increase the c here. You know, increase c, and the contact resistance uh, will become lower. You know, this is the this is we usually call it. If we increase c, we usually call it uh, high chain number quantum anomalous hole insulators uh, with multiple uh, Carroll eddy channels. Uh, and uh, uh, first, let me compare the C equals one, you know, quantum anomalous hole effect and the high chain number uh, quantum anomalous hole effect. In this kind of the C equals one quantum anomalous hole effect, uh, as I just told you, uh, there is only one and Carroll IG channels 
Uh, and when the electron travels from the uh, carol edge channel uh, to the normal metal contacts, uh, just like the car from the highway uh, to the downtown, and uh, usually it takes you uh, a long time uh, from the highway to the downtown. Uh, and uh, for the high chain number, you know, we take this kind of the C equals three high chain number uh, quantum norms for in fact there are three this kind carol edge state. And in high chain number quantum norms for uh, insulators, you know, there are several carol edge state. You know, it will greatly reduce the time uh, if you want to drive from the highway to the downtowns just like this. Uh, and uh, you know, you know that in our experiment, we realized this kind of the uh, high chain number uh, quantum norms for insulators uh, just by stacking this kind of the uh, C equals one quantum norms for insulator and the normal insulator just stack these kind of the uh, multi-layer structures. Uh, you know, the, in the past almost uh, uh, 80 years, you know, you know the, there are a lot of uh, scientists who want to realize this kind of the high chain number quantum norms for insulators, but it's very difficult to find the normal insulator layers uh, with the same lattice structures uh, uh, with, with the topological uh, insulators. It's very difficult to stack them together. So in our experiment, we're using the idea like this, you know, the, we know that the magnetic doping, for example, as I just show you, uh, chromium and vanadium uh, are pretty light, this kind of the element uh, in the periodic table, it's just in the first line of the transition metal. So it's much lighter than this kind of the bismuth or antimony uh, in the topological insulator. So the magnetic doping in the topological insulator, chromium or vanadium, uh, will reduce the spin orbit coupling and, uh, uh, and a heavily magnetic doping uh, might drive this kind of the magnetic topological insulator uh, into a normal insulator regime. And at the same time, this kind of the heavily magnetic dope, uh, doped topological insulator uh, maybe shares the same lattice structure with undoped topological insulator. You know, this is just the idea uh, under our experiment. And we take this kind of the C equals three uh, quantum norms score as an example. You know, this is the band structure in the momentum space. And this is the uh, chromium doped uh, bismuth antimony terroride, heavily chromium doped and undoped bismuth antimony terroride. Uh, I already show you why we choose this kind of the four element or three element. It just want to make the bulk of the topological insulator uh, insulating. So, uh, here, actually, you know, this is very heavily doped. As I just showed you, this layer is normal insulator. And here, the heavily doped magnetic TI plays uh, two roles. Uh, one is the normal insulator, just like a glue to, uh, to, to, to glue this kind of the uh, C equals one quantum norms for insulator formed in the undoped TI layer. And at the same time, just because of the proximity effect, you know, the gap is opened here and here, you know, forms the C equals Y and quantum anomalous for insulators. You know, this is the idea we use. And this is the TM image. We could see the uh, very highly ordered lattice structure uh, in our magnetic tier and the tier uh, multi-layer structures. Uh, and uh, we fabricated the magnetic tier and the tier uh, multi-layer samples with the periods the, from the one to five and from the whole resistance, we can see this whole resistance uh, is h over e square, h over two e square to the h over two five e square. And in these five samples, we could see that uh, the red color is the longitudinal resistance uh, is vanishing at zero magnetic field. You know, this observation uh, indicates the realization of the high chain number quantum norms for insulators uh, with the chain number from one to five. And the chain number of this kind of the uh, quantum norms for insulators is determined just how many undoped TI layers uh, in the sample. You know, see here, there are three undoped TI layers. The chain number will be three. There are four, the chain number will be four. So the high chain number quantum norms for insulators are further demonstrated by the gate dependence of the zero uh, magnetic field uh, hole resistance. This is zero magnetic field hole resistance. This is zero magnetic field longitudinal resistance. We can see at the charge neutral point, the hole resistance is quantized at the uh, quantized to h over e square, h over two e square to h over two five e square. At the same time, the longitudinal resistance is vanishing at the charge neutral point. You know, this kind of the signature uh, 
clearly demonstrated this is the indeed the high chain number quantum anomalous or insulators with the chain numbers from one to five. So in the same sample configuration, we found that the chain numbers of the quantum anomalous hole insulators uh, can be changing uh, from the magnetic doping in this kind of three layers. You know that we take the painter layer as an example here. You know that this is a painter layer. You know, if the heavily magnetic doping, as I just showed you, is just a C equals two quantum anomalous hole insulators. If we change the magnetic doping in these three layers, we found the chain number can be changed. You know, with the lower doping level, the chain number is one here, you see here, is quantized at h over e square, and at higher doping level is quantized at uh, h over 2 e square. The reason actually I already told you is just because with the lower doping level, the magnetic tier layer, the magnetic, the red color one, is still in the non-trivial regime. So this is non-trivial, this is non-trivial, and this is also non-trivial. So these three layers share the same topology. So there are only two surface state, two non-trivial surface state. One contributes e, uh, e square over two H for conductance. So the total is E square over H. So when the doping level is high, this layer will become trivial. This is not trivial, this is trivial, this is not trivial. So there are two quantum anomalous hole insulator layer there. So there will be two non-trivial surface state or interface state uh, formed in the middle. So there are four non-trivial interface state in this kind of the sample. That's the reason we observe C equals to two uh, quantum anomalous hole effect uh, in this kind of the painter layer structure with the uh, uh, very high magnetic doping in the magnetic doped TL layers. And the chain number tuning is further demonstrated by the gate dependence of the zero hole, zero magnetic field hole resistance. And we can clearly see that the sample with the lower doping level at the charge neutral point is quantized at h over e square. At the higher doping level is quantized at h over 2 e square. You know, our experimental observation uh, is well interpreted by our theoretical calculation and uh, done by my colleague, uh, Professor Chao Xing Liu. Uh, and in addition to the magnetic doping, you know, the in previous two slides, I introduced the uh, change the magnetic doping, we could change the chain number. And here, actually, we found that if we fix the magnetic doping, if we change the thickness of the middle layer, we could also tune the chain numbers. You know, the, uh, this layer is zero without this layer or one quintuple layer. The sample shows the h over e square. And when the, the, this thickness is two quintuple layer to four quintuple layer shows the c equal to two, uh, quantum anomalous hole effect. And the reason is just that, you know, when this layer is thin, the interaction between these two quantum anomalous hole insulator layer is weak, uh, is, is strong. You know, the interaction is strong. They will become one and uh, C equals to one quantum anomalous hole effect. When this film is thin, the interaction become weak. You know, the, there will be two quantum anomalous hole uh, effect, like a serious connector here. You know, that's the reason we observe the C equal to two uh, quantum anomalous hole effect here. And this kind of the chain number tuning is also demonstrated by the gate uh, dependence of the zero magnetic field hole resistance. We could see that zero and one quintuple layer quantize at h over e square uh, from two to four quintuple layer and quantize h over two e square. And this kind of the experimental observation is also uh, interpreted by uh, Chao Xing's uh, theoretical calculation. And uh, finally, I want to uh, introduce our work about the Marana physics in quantum uh, anomalous hole and superconductor hybrid structure. Uh, and in quantum anomalous hole and superconductor samples, uh, and we know that the Carroll uh, topological superconductivity uh, and the Carroll Marana uh, have been predicted, you know, by the uh, Professor Shu Chengzhang uh, in 2010, and later there are several works. Uh, and the Carroll Marana can be actually, you know, the in, in 2015, and also Shu Chengzhang uh, predicted this very simple uh, transport configuration uh, to detect the Carol Marana. You know that this is a very simple uh, configurations. Uh, we can say the only thing is you just put a superconductor strip on top of the uh, quantum, uh, quantum anomalous hole layers. 
Uh, and in this kind of the structures, there are four Carol Marana. You know, this uh, Diaka female, this uh, eddy state, and one Diaka female will become two Maranas. And there are four Marana here from gamma one, gamma two, uh, gamma three, and gamma four. And from this kind of the uh, very simple configuration, and based on the theory, uh, the expected uh, transport data uh, are here. You know, this is the theoretical ex uh, expectation. And the top one is just the whole conductions. You know, this is the, uh, this whole conduction e square over h, and this is e square over minus e square over h. There is a zero plateau. And I want to see here is this zero plateau is different from the one I just show you in the action insulator sample. That one is because of the anti-parallel magnetization uh, alignment. And here it just because of the, uh, the film is thin and there is the longitudinal resistance is very high. So there is a zero uh, hole conductance plateau. And uh, the, 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 the Shuchun predicted that the, this kind of the two terminal resistance or conductance can be uh, interpreted for this kind of the Carol Marana. You know, the, the at very high magnetic field, it still shows the E square over H. And at this is the uh, normal insulator layers, there is a zero uh, half quantized plateau. Half quantized, well, this half quantized plateau uh, can be interpreted uh, as the formation of the Carol Marana. Uh, we can see that this is theoretical prediction and there is zero and half quantized and there is one. You know, the they are shown in the same device rather than different device. You know, that's the theoretical prediction. When you sweep the magnetic field, there is half quantized plateau, there is quantized plateau, and also there is an insulating behavior here. You know, that's the theoretical prediction. But I want to see that in the theoretical prediction, they just consider the superconductor as an insulator with a very small gap and uh, but we know that the if we want to realize the topological superconductivity, we need the proximity effect occurs between the quantum anomalous hole and the superconductor. But the two quantum anomalous hole, this kind of the, this channel and this channel cannot be shorted. But you know that at least for an experimentalist, uh, I'm an experimentalist, and the proximity usually means uh, the you know share the same. Potential usually means that there is charge transfer, uh, in particular in this kind of the millimeter size device. So soon after the theoretical prediction, uh, an experimental, uh, an experiment come out and claimed the observation of the Carol Maranas in quantum anomalous hole and the superconductor device. You know, let me compare the experimental result, this experimental result and this theoretical result. And the, you know, the, uh, the superconducting, uh, before moving on, let me just introduce one definition here is the superconducting chain number is just the doubles the chain number in quantum anomalous hole. We usually use an N here. C is the chain number, uh, in quantum anomalous hole insulators. Uh, we can see that, uh, this is the T, uh, T N equal to topological superconductor regime corresponds here, corresponds here and corresponds here. And this is the N equal zero normal superconductor. This is here. When you sweep the magnetic field, it will pass through the N equals one topological superconductivity, you know, and forms this kind of the half quantized plateau. We see here, this is, uh, there is a worry, uh, the, the, the small half quantized plateau here. According to the theory, this half quantized plateau, uh, can be, uh, corresponds to the Carol Marana or corresponds to the N equals one topological superconductivity phase. And we can see that the experimental result and the theoretical result uh, are remarkably similar. So we will ask if this kind of the half quantized plateau here, uh, indeed induced by the formation of the Carol Marana. So my group uh, also did this experiment. You know, this is our device and this device includes two parts and the left part is the nanobeam strip and this is nanobeam strip, just as the theoretical prediction and also as the prior experiment. And its width is the, uh, is about 20 micrometers here. And the right is the, we call it nanobeam finger device, quantum anomalous hole nanobeam finger device. And the, uh, the width is the 200 nanometer device. 
And we use this kind of the quantum anomalous hole and anomaly finger device to check the interface because uh, from the theoretical prediction, the interface should be good. You know, the high transparent interface can help the formation of the topological superconductivity. So now we're using the finger device to using the analytic reflection to check the transparency. And here we can see the conductance uh, from the one to almost uh, 180 percent uh, increase, you know, for perfect and loop refraction should be uh, double increased. So here is 180. So the interface is great. So we take the transport measurement in this side from one to two, that's according to the theoretical prediction, as I just introduced to you, and we see the different transport phenomena. And we tried a lot of device and a different uh, quantum anomalous hole sample, and we also tried the the width and without the barriers, most of the results are quite similar. You know, all the results are quite similar. So here we can see that all these kind of the two terminal resistance shows the E square over 2H conductance here and except, except the 2HC regime. And here, this data is definitely different from the uh, prior experiment and also different from the uh, theoretical prediction. So, uh, you know, from this kind of the results, we will ask, if this kind of the half quantized plateau here, you know, this half quantized plateau is related to the formation uh, of the quantum anomalous hole, uh, the relation, the formation of the uh, Carol Marana. So we, uh, since we already observed the half quantized plateau in our here, we will, we will, uh, we will, but it is different from the theoretical prediction and also different from the uh, prior experiment. We will ask, is this kind of the, uh, half quantized the plateau is related to the Carol Marana or not. You know, in order to answer this question, uh, we did below experiment. It's a very simple experiment. Uh, and this is the quantum anomalous hole device uh, with one superconductor strip, as I just showed you. And there are four uh, Carol Maranas from gamma one to gamma four. And uh, if we put two superconductor strip, uh, according to the theoretical prediction, you know, actually the formation of the Marana is very simple. It just from uh, one Dirac female become a two Marana, always uh, one to two. So here, if you take the two terminal measurement, it should be always E square over two H, uh, unrelated to how independent, independent uh, of this kind of the, how many superconductor strip you put on top of the quantum norms for layers. And this, if in this kind of the device, there are five Carol Marana here. If in this device with two, two terminal is still E square over two H, uh, it may this kind of the E square over H in this kind of device, it may relate it to the Carol Marana. So here are uh, our transport result. And we can see that uh, with one nanobeam strip, the two terminal resistance is E square over two H uh, with two nanobeam strip. And the two terminal resistance become E square over 3H is definitely not according to the theoretical prediction. You know, we note that the quantum anomalous hole sample we used here, uh, shows the zero hole conductance plateau in hole conductance exactly the same, uh, as the one used in the uh, prior, uh, experiment. You know, that this kind of the zero hole conductance plateau, uh, has been thought uh, to be a critical point. Uh, for the formation uh, of the Carol Marana uh, in quantum anomalous hole and superconductor system. And therefore, we conclude from this kind of the control measurement, we conclude the two terminal resistance here is just a series connection of the how many, uh, the, the, the several of these kind of quantum anomalous hole sessions here. You know, here you put a here, one strip here, the, this side is quantum anomalous hole, this side is quantum anomalous hole. There are two quantum anomalous hole, so the whole connection is become E square over 2H. You know, if you put two strip, this is quantum anomalous hole, this is quantum anomalous hole, and this is also quantum anomalous hole, so that's become E square over 3H. So, <coughs> We have measured more than 30 samples at Penn State and similar results have been observed by the uh, Lawrence Mollenkamp in Germany and also Derek or uh, in Stanford. And uh, before I close to this session, uh, I want to emphasize uh, our experiment uh, demonstrated the formation of the uh, half quantized plateau uh, in millimeter size, you know, 
uh, and in our device is 20 micrometer, and in the previous the experiment is millimeter size. In millimeter size, uh, is unlikely related to Carol Marana. And uh, note that I use the millimeter size here. You know, the I never see there is no Marana physics in quantum norms hole and the superconductor system. Uh, the story might change if we further reduce the 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 the, the width of the quantum norms hole layer or the width of the nanobeam strip. Uh, we may still detect the Marana physics uh, in this kind of the configuration. And we can also try the other geometry, for example, uh, some interferometer or some this kind of the Josephine junction device. Uh, we may detect the uh, Marana physics in quantum anomalous hole and the superconductor uh, system uh, in the future. So here uh, we come to an end with the summary, and we are the first to realize the quantum anomalous hole effect uh, in chromium and vanadium doped TI system. And we fabricate the magnetic TI summary structure and first realize the uh, one state we call it action insulator state. Uh, and we fabricate the uh, magnetic TI and TI multilayer structure and first realize the high chain number quantum anomalous hole effects. And in the, in, and in this kind of the high chain number of quantum anomalous hole insulators, uh, we could tune the chain numbers, uh, by changing the, uh, magnetic doping level and also the thickness of the middle magnetic tier layers, uh, and we could tune the chain numbers. And uh, finally, I want to say that in quantum anomalous hole and the superconductor device, uh, we found that the half quantized plateau observed in millimeter size quantum anomalous hole superconductor device is unlikely induced by the formation of the Carol Marana. Uh, with that, thank you. Thank you very much, Chang 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 Chang崔祖老师你好这个角度这个意义这是一个很好的快速就是说现在这个正我在我的 这个这个already重复了这些实验，但是在这个其他的这三种实验，我们可以看一下这个呃 magnetic base material zero magnetic field quantum anomalous hole you no one can reproduce and uh, and also include the Yuanbo's group uh for the twist barrier graphene and the AB stack twist barrier graphene uh到现在为止好像也是一个 device 没有重复第二个 device and for AB stack uh that Kinfed group 应该有 two two three uh device. Uh, and you can see that twist system, the whole resistance actually is over that is greater than e square, uh, h over e square. Uh, I don't know what is the reason for this, or the problem of the test, or something. This can be studied in the future. As for the use of quantum anomalous hole, in these five systems, we claim different people to claim the critical temperature. But in my opinion, it's just because of the criteria. As for the big difference in the wind, I don't think there is a difference. If we need the same criteria, for example, we use 90% 97 quantization or 98 quantization, uh, I think critical temperature should be in the 1 to 2 Kelvin uh, regime. So, uh, this, uh, this temperature is uh, 1 to 2 Kelvin. If we want to increase the critical temperature, I think that these two systems should uh, be more difficult. Unless we find a new system with a larger magnetic exchange gap, 这是我对这个如何提高quantum norms hold critical temperature的个人的看法。另外一点就是说,至于 
这个在呃 high precision measurement 的方面的应用的话，呃，到现在为止应该在呃 ten to minus seven 或 ten to minus eight quantity 呃这个这个 precision 的 level， 呃呃这个这个大家都知道 quantum 或应该在 ten to 呃 minus nine 的 level， 这是的这个这个 the difference between quantum anomalous 或 and quantum Hall effects. Okay. 哎<咳>，那个翠祖啊，你刚才回应曾老师的问题的时候，说及到呃，找一个 intrinsic， 就是磁这个，就是但更大的 band gap 的磁性材料。呃，确实现在呃有不同的二维铁磁材料被发现。呃，当呃你们这条思路就是从最开始呃方中黛西和你实验实现的。是脱不全体掺磁，呃，那么呢是把磁性好的磁性进脱不全，就是掺脱谱，也就是说让它脱谱化。这个这条路，呃，有有有 limitation， 啊，应该有有很大的局限性，啊，有很大的局限性。但是因为它一开始就有磁性，所以呃，要 struggle 的是如何让它脱谱。这个这个你个人没有特别关注，还是说？哪些地方？ Oh, 我我我对你的我对你的那个 recent in the past five years work， 我还是看过的。我知道你们几个 project， 但是在实验上来讲，还是比较难的几个体系，就是特别是你说的那些点掺杂呀，以及呃以及一些那个 TMD 的一些材料啊，呃那些在实验上的生长非常的难，这是我的个人看法。嗯、就是说，如果要想这个这个，其实在这些体系里，就像你所说的。这个 magnetic doping or intrinsic T I intrinsic magnetic T I 这个，呃，你要磁性材料比较容易这、呃、发现，但是你要想实现拓扑是非常难的，因为你要需要一定的 spin orbit coupling。呃，这个是这个如果要增加这个这个磁性的掺杂，你这个拓扑就没了，这是一般情况。所以说很难实现我、呃、这个特别高的 cure temperature 的、呃、这个这个 magnetic T I， 所以说很难去实现高温的呃 quantum anomalous hole。呃呃，这个至于我认为要放，就刚才我说的，如果要想实现 high temperature， 必须在同新材料上呃进行呃出发。好，那个崔总，我们再问两个线上的问题啊，可以可以，那个一个是问这个 quantum n o s h o l e 这个实验的复呃重复性怎么样，然后对。样品生长掺杂精度的要求苛刻吗？还有这个哦，你这个这个这个重复仪器测量的精度是不是有什么要求？然后最新的这个温度可以达到多少？呃，重复性的问题的话，应该是非常好的。现在在我的 group， 我的两个 chamber 应该都是百分之百的，几乎重复性非常。我个人应该见过大于两三千个的 quantum n o r m s c o r e sample。这个在 magnetic d o p e 重复性非常好，我现在几乎我们长得个个个都是好的 quantum n o r m a l s 并且 quantum n o r m a l s 我们现在可以做的特别厚。以前我们总是认为 quantum n o r m a l s 是一个 two D 的 definition， 现在我们能在100纳米、200纳米厚的这种 magnetic T I 的 sample 里能实现非常 perfect quantum n o r m a l s state。这个我们正在这个 understand。呃，另外一个就是对于其他的这几个 system。这个这个这个都是一个或者是这个个位数的 device， 这个呃这个重复性我我不做评判了，呃这个嗯至于呃还有还有什么问题？温度达到了多少？哦，温度对于这几个 system， 如果我们像用相同的 criteria， 这个这个比如说 97% 的 h o r e 呃 quantization。呃，我认为 critical temperature 应该是几乎一样的，都在 one to two k e l v i n 当然，有些人他去 claim critical temperature 比较高，你如果用的 criteria 不一样，有的人以百分之七十 quantization 作为 criteria， 那 the temperature 自然而然就高了。啊，好。还有一个问题，那个是关于那个 axon insulator 的，就是它的。要实现它的话，是否上下表面的陈述是要相反，就可以实现这个东西？啊、呃，这个其实
，其实呃，不是这个上下表面的 whole conductance 相反，呃，不能说呃，也可以认为上下表面的陈述是一个 one， 呃，一个是 minus 二分之一，一个是呃 positive 二分之一，从而它两个这个这个抵相互抵消，从而实现这个啊 axon insulator。呃，对于 axon insulator 的。这个这个定义来说，全世界基本上有有两种，一个是广义的 axon insulator， 啊、呃，广义的 axon insulator 就是以 Frank w i l c h e k 以及 Alan m c d o n a l d 的这些人以提出来的一些，就是说只要是有 axon E dot B term， 呃，我们就可以认为是 axon insulator。后来基于我们这儿，我这儿是用的一个狭义的 definition， 就是说满足非常苛刻的条件，我们才称之为啊、呃、axon insulator。这儿就是说我必须在表面是 gap open。呃，并且是 3D 的，并且你这个呃内部还在 keep time reversal symmetry， 这个是一个非常苛刻的条件。呃，做理论的基本上只有这个呃这个这个这个，比如说这个 r o g e r s 的呃 d i r e c t Van der Belt 是是比较 support 这种的狭义的 definition 的。嗯，行，好，那我们呃我我再问一个问题吧，那个。关于那个 high chain number 的那一部分，就是说你构造这个 high chain number， 实际上是把几个，你做了一个 h y s t r u c t u r e 对吧？就是说把把这个实际上是一个一个的这个 chain insulator 把它叠加在一起。对的，啊、然后 chain number 呢就是一个简单的叠加了。那有没有可能在一个 single f a c e 的体系里面实现这个 high chain number？ 这个、哦，这个其实，在2013年，我们 quantum norms 后这个发现之后，有好多 theory 去 predict 这种 system， 主要两两个 system， 一个就是说 chromium doped b i s m u t h selenide t y r o i d 呃，这个这个在一些这个在一些比较这个这个、这个、这个苛刻的条件下，你可以实现 high chain number， 但是在这个体系里面有一个非常不好的 property， 就是说，呃 b i s m u t h selenide t y r o i d 这个呃，正正所谓我我刚才介绍的，就是说磁性非常不好，所以就不用去考虑如何去实现 quantum n o r m s 的问题了。另外一个就是说，你这个 b i s m u t h selenide t y r o i d 很难做到 insulating， 一是磁性不好，一是呃这个很难做到 insulating， 就根本没法实现 quantum n o r m s 啊，第二个体系大家比较 predicted 的就是说这个呃 chromium， 就是说 magnetic doped 啊、呃、topological crystal line insulator 这个 t i n t y r o i d 这个这个，因为 t i n t y r o i d 我们都知道里边有呃有 two to four 呃 d i a c o n o n 一个 d i a c o n o n 我们可以认为是对应一个呃 c equals to one。So 这个这个，你当你把这个 magnetic magnetic for example chromium or some 呃 transition metal 呃，对不到 t i n t y r o i d 之后，你有可能实现 high chain number。但是在在这个 t i n t y r o i d 这个体系里呢，呃，有两个问题，一个是呃这个 magnetic doping 很难实现 ferromagnetic hysteresis， 就是这种 ferromagnetic hysteresis。另外一个，因为这个有有好多个呃呃二到四个的这个 d i a c o n 这二到四个的 d i a c o n d i a c o n point 不在一个 same energy level。所以说很难，你即使打开 gap 了，你也很难把这个 chemical potential， 呃，一起把它调到所有的 gap 里边，实现这个 insulating state。这是目前这是两个这个单一体系如何去实现呃 high chain number 的 prediction。其实这方面也有也有一些实验研究，但是就是说，呃，基本上 quantum n o r m s 是没法实现的。嗯，好，谢谢。啊，那么我们就再次感谢呃常老师也。感谢也谢谢老师同学的参与，好，好，谢谢，拜拜，好。